Hello everyone, welcome to another HD tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to change the autoplay settings in Windows Vista. You may have a program that every time you put it in the disk, um, maybe uh, maybe Windows asks you, are you sure you want to run this program? Are you really sure? Are you really sure? So um, I'm just going to show you guys how real quickly you can change the autoplay settings. So what you're going to do is, uh, can you pardon, uh, pardon that blinking there, click on your start menu and you're going to go to start search and type in autoplay. Um, and the first thing that will come up in Windows Vista is a program, Autoplay. Just click on it, and it'll bring up a, uh, it'll look like Windows Explorer, and this is actually the, how you get to it in the first place, but that was just a quick way I showed you. So basically this is what, you choose what you happen when you insert, uh, certain types of media, or maybe a USB or an audio CD, or certain stuff like that. So I have it set to whenever I put in an audio CD, bam, rip the CD audio using a certain program. I can take no action, I can always open the folders using Explorer, I can always open it up in iTunes. So this is a very convenient way to choose exactly what Windows does. Say I just put in a, a piece of software. I will always install or run the program. Um, maybe I put in a blank CD. What am I going to do? Oh, I chose it to ask me every time. Sometimes I want to change things. Same thing with HD movies, Super CD video, I mean all these things. Also, my um, my LG Voyager has its own little uh, section here, the LG VX10,000. I'm going to say I want it to manage this device using Rhapsody and save. So now whenever I plug in my LG Voyager, it will always, always sync with Rhapsody the second I plug it in. So that's very convenient. Um, that's just, that's basically it. That is how I uh, cho cho choose, sorry can't really talk today. This is how I choose um, exactly what happens every time I insert a new like external device. Maybe I, if I had an external hard drive hooked up, or if I installed the drivers for an external hard drive, it would show up under devices, and I would be able to choose exactly what happens every time I plug it back in, should I ever unplug it. So that's just a quick tutorial for you guys. I hope you find it helpful, and if you have any tutorial requests, just go ahead and subscribe and send me a message, and I'll get right to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.